Good morning, everyone. Thanks for joining us for our presentation, AEExpress.com Tips, Tools, and Insights, brought to you by AEE Solar. Before we begin, if you're experiencing any technical difficulties, if you're not sure you're seeing the right screen or you can't hear me very well, um, just type in your question or concern there in the questions box on the right-hand side of your screen. It should be in that GoToWebinar control panel that's showing on your screen. And a couple of other quick notes while we wait for everyone to join in. There will be a brief survey that will pop up in a new window um, once you exit the webinar. If you could just take a couple of minutes and provide your feedback on this presentation and any ideas for future presentations, we'd greatly appreciate it, and we'll send you a copy of these slides later today. Also, I just want to mention that we will have our Q&A session following the presentation. You're welcome to submit your questions at any point during the presentation, and you can do that through that questions box on the right-hand side of your screen. Submit it whenever it comes to you, and we'll keep all the questions on our end, and we'll ask them all at the end of the presentation. And again, for those who just joined, we will have our uh, Q&A session after the presentation, but you can submit your questions at any time. There will also be a brief survey. I think it's just five questions. should take you two minutes, honestly, um, that will pop up in a new window once you exit the webinar. If you complete that survey, we'll send you a copy of these slides later today. All right, looks like we don't have any questions, so I'll introduce our presenter today. We have Jamie Laughlin, AEE Solar's very own digital marketing manager. Jamie, I'm passing the presentation over to you. Thank you, Hannah. <clears throat> and good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining me for today's webinar on AE Express, our uh, online store here at AE Solar. Um, today, we're going to walk through really the basics of using AE Express. Um, we're going to cover the navigating the website, uh, the best way for you to find the products that you need. Um, then we'll walk through the shopping cart and check out and the options that you have when checking out and the freight engine. And finally, we'll explore the account space where you can conveniently take care of your daily tasks like looking up order history, your tracking numbers, or paying an invoice with a credit card or bank transfer or ACH. So first and foremost is finding the products that you need. There are really three ways to effectively search for products that you need on AE Express. The first and most common would be to enter a search term in the search bar located in the header of the website. Here you can search by a keyword such as in this case, uh, off-grid inverter or flooded battery, for instance. But be aware that the returned results depend on whether or not the keywords can be found in either the item name or the description. So in some cases, if, if uh, the word is kind of a rare word, you're going to limit the amount of uh, results. And if you enter a more common word like solar, you might have uh, many more results than you were expecting. So, um, you know, the, it's, it's really good to just kind of be more specific. Um, the other common ways to search in the search bar is to actually search for the product name brand or model number and the most effective way to find exactly what you're looking for would be to search the AE item number as you would find it in the catalog. The uh, Another common way to find products would be to navigate through the category menu found in the black bar in the header of the site. Uh, here you can roll over one of the main categories with your cursor and then choose a more specific subcategory from the drop-down menu. In this case, we rolled over off-grid and then chose controls and, con and converters as a um, subcategory. Uh, once the results are displayed on the category listing page, you can then further refine those results using the filter menu on the left side of the site. These attributes are specific to the item type you are searching for, and with upwards of 40 attributes to filter with, it's a very effective way to narrow your results. 
while using the filters, you'll notice that they are dynamically responsive, meaning that the filter instantly filters as you select them and you can deselect uh, a filter that you chose to expand your results or continue to select filters to narrow the results until you are able to find the item that you're looking for. And once you find the product or product family that you're looking for, um, if it's a single uh, product with uh, a single item in it, it gives you the option to add it to the cart directly from the um, category listing page. Or if it's a product family that has multiple items within it, it allows, it gives you the option to choose your option, which brings you to the product uh, detail page as you see here. Um, and then on the product details page, you would be able to uh, select the specific item that you're looking for, um, either at the top where you see uh, the radio button that's chosen, or you can also select it within the data table. Um, and, we, and we set these data tables up online so that they're very similar to the catalog that you're used to using. So um, you can find most of the Im important data uh, item specific data and attributes within that table and then choose the item that you're looking for. Um, once you choose the item that you're looking for by selecting the radial button, then the more uh, detailed uh, information below the ta table will change depending on the item that you selected. And then finally, um, many of our most computer savvy customers or people that order um, often throughout the day uh, or a lot of items at, as, at once use our quick order tool. Uh, this tool is, in a, is effective to use alongside our printed catalog or for those who are very familiar with uh, the item numbers of the products that they normally purchase. Um, to use the tool, you just click on the quick order icon on the top right corner of the header. And once in the tool, you would enter the AE item number and the quantity of the item that you'd like to purchase. And you'll see that the um, availability and description will automatically populate after the part number and the quantity is entered. And then you also need to be sure on the left hand side to check the uh, select box. Uh, for each of those items. If you need more rows, you would just simply click on the add more rows button. And then once done, once all of the items are showing that you'd like and all of the select buttons are chosen, you could click to add it to your cart. Uh, we also offer the option to upload a CSV file with the items that you need to purchase. So here you would simply create a file in Excel and use column A for the item number and column B for the quantity. And then you save it as a CSV file. Um, you choose the file on your computer and then click upload and the, the item will automatically load into the quick order tool. You can then verify the order and add it to your cart. This is a you know, great way to save time for customers who place large orders or many orders throughout the day. So that's navigating the site and finding the items that you um, that you need to purchase. And now we'll go ahead and take a look at the shopping cart and the options that you have when checking out. So the, this is your first initial cart view when you when you move to your shopping cart. This allows you to review the items in your cart. As you can see, you can see the availability. You can see lead times um, specific to uh, West Coast and East Coast warehouses. Here you're able to update the quantities that you um, need for each item and review prices. This is also on the right hand side. You can see um, underneath the order summary that this you there's a, a link to apply a coupon. So if you, if you receive uh, some of our great promotions that we can send that we send out to you via email. We often include a coupon code. This is where you would enter that coupon code and you'd see the discounts applied directly in this cart view. You can also save your cart here so that you can pull it up again at a later date when your customer 
um, has decided to move forward with an install. And you can also delete the items in your cart if you need to start over. Once you choose checkout, then you would move to the next page, which is the shipping window. Um, here, you provide us with the address and the person that you would like us to ship the order to. At the top of the page, you can search for a specific saved address in your address book by company, last name, or city. You can also scroll through your address book on the left to choose an address that way. Um, once you find the address you're looking for, select it and click ship to this address directly below that, um, that panel. And then finally, uh, you can enter a new address on the right side if it's not already in your address book. And be sure to check the box that reads save this address if you would like to ship to this address again in the future. And it will be saved to your address book. Uh, as you progress, you'll be then brought to the shipping method page. And here the freight engine determines whether your shipment can ship small parcel or requires freight. And so dependent on what items are in your cart, um, will we'll, uh, dependent on those items, the items that are in your cart will be the type of page that you're brought to. In this case, um, we are brought to a freight page and you can see that by the choices up, up above, the residential lift gate and call ahead number. You wouldn't see that if it's a parcel page, small parcel page rather. And it also offers you two shipping options. Um, preferred, as you can see, the top option here for the amount of $372.85, um, this is the less expensive, but it may take a little bit longer to get to you because what we do is we wait until all of your items are in stock to ship them to you in a single ship set or as available, which is a more exp expensive option, but ships you all of the items that are available when the order is placed and then waits for the remaining items to become available to ship as a second ship set. This can be more costly, but is often used if a critical item is needed sooner that is available now. Um, oh, and one note on that, the preferred option is always chosen as a default. So if you would like the as available um, and there's items that you would like to, to get quicker, you would uh, select that radial button on the left side. And then as you can see, the estimated delivery dates for each item can ex and you, is shown on the right hand side in orange and you can expand your window to see all of the items within the order for each of those delivery types, preferred or as available. Um, oh, and here was my point, uh, uh, yeah, preferred uh, defaulted and you would choose either preferred or as available to move forward. And as you progress, the next window allows you to choose your uh, level of service. So for small parcel, this could include ground, three day, two day and next day air. And you also have the ability to use your own account. Um, this currently is limited to UPS and Conway accounts only. So if using your own account, you would enter your account number, um, populate your billing address that's um, on the account with that carrier, and choose your shipping method. And it's important to note, this is your billing, billing address, not the ship to address. And some of the other options that we offer is blind shipping for uh, our drop ship scenarios. Uh, this allows you to upload your own branded packing slip or other materials to be included in a shipment. So this is really kind of specific to uh, our reseller customers. Uh, to upload your packing slip or other promotional material, first you would choose the file from your computer and then you would click upload to load it to the page and then you will see it populate under the attached files header in orange here you can um, add multiple files i think up to seven or eight and um, it accepts format uh, word docs uh, ping files 
uh, JPEG files and Excel files. And on the right side, you can also remove an attached file with the remove link, um, as you see there in gray. You'll also notice special options and requests that are available for freight shipments. Um, residential deliveries, lift gate required, a call ahead number, and also future delivery dates are all options that you can um, enter here. And once you're done with, it, with the freight, the next page you move on to is your billing page um, or payment page. Uh, what's important to note here is th the required field of purchase number. So this is a required field. Um, it's, it's used in our system to identify your order, um, but it can be populated with anything that is valuable for you. So it does not have to be a purchase, a, a numerical uh, um, field. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it accepts alphanumeric as well. So um, really, some people use it use their own job numbers or quote numbers and some people just use any kind of information here that helps them to identify the order in the future next you would choose whether you would like to pay with um, your credit terms or with a credit card and finally you're brought to your order review window that allows you to make a final review of your order, shipping information, and payment method. If everything looks great, you can place your order or choose to put your order on customer service hold. Um, this customer service hold option is something that we added because, um, you know, we have often have customers that have specific needs and they would, in the past, they would, um, they would make these requests on the telephone with their sales representative. Um, so this allows them to uh, give those same requests um, while placing their order online. So um, some of the common reasons would be maybe there's an item that they did not find on the site that they need added to the order. Um, they may request um, special shipping instructions. There may be a price discrepancy or um, they have a special price uh, agreement that they need applied, um, or they are requesting a will call pickup. So these are all um, requests that could be added to this field and place the order on hold, and um, you would be contacted by a customer service representative before the order progressed. Um, so that's finding your products and checking out. So now what we'll do is we'll go ahead and walk through your My Account space where you are able to handle many of your order related needs. So I'm just gonna go ahead and walk through um, each of the pages. To access your account space, you would just roll over the My Account um, text that is on the right-hand side of the header underneath your, your name in orange. And the first page we get to is your profile page. This allows you to review your account information and to update some of the data on your own. Um, you're able to update your name, your zip code, your phone number, um, but please note if you need to update your email, account number, or company name, you would need to contact customer service. You're also able to um, change your password on the top right-hand corner as well. And speaking of passwords, um, so obviously probably one of the most common, um, one of the most common uh, customer service issues that we run into would be customers that forget their password or have um, an issue with their password. Um, so if you uh, have forgotten your password or your password's not work working, you can go ahead and request a temporary one um, right under the login uh, window on the site. Um, just go ahead and click the forgot your password link under the login window and you'll be asked to enter your email address. Once you enter your email address, you'll receive an email with a temporary password. 
um, just copy your password uh, and paste it into the password field to log in. Um, one note about copying your password, uh, some people select the password with their mouse and oftentimes when they select the password, they either select a space in front of or behind, behind the password and then they copy it and paste it in. Well, that space registers as a character and um, the password would fail. So one of the best tips to um, copying that password would just be to cursor over it and double click on the password in the email, which will then select just that password and then you can copy it and it will be correct when you paste it. Back at your profile page, you can then enter your temporary password into the old password field and then enter a new password to update it to one that's familiar to you. Here is your order history page. Your order history page, you can search for orders placed by you specifically, or you can also search for orders placed by all of the registered users on Express that are within your company or organization. Um, so it's, it's important that you first choose that, choose whether you're searching for just your orders or all orders within your company. And then you can choose a date range or um, a look back period of seven days, 14 days, 30, 60, or 90. And you're also able to search by order number if you have that on hand as well. The results page allows you to view the order number, your purchase order number, the tracking number, which is dynamic. So if you click on it, it will actually take you to the carrier and you can see the status of that shipment. Um, you can see your order status and the details of the order as well. The next page we come to is your account balance page. And this is pretty self-explanatory. It shows uh, your credit limit, um, your outstanding balance, um, and any aging on your past due amounts. Um, you can also use the links on the right-hand side to apply for credit or for a um, job-specific credit account or to apply for a increase as, as well. Those links take you directly to a form that you fill out and um, that's dropped directly into our credit department's email queue. So the next page that we come to is your, um, oh, I'm sorry, we're still on the account balance page. So uh, here on the bottom of the page, you're also able to click your view transactions tab. And this will uh, bring up your most recent uh, invoices, uh, payment receipts, and credit memos that you might have on your account. So if you'd like to make a payment online, um, the payment page brings you, uh, when you when you click on the payment page, it opens up the window and it'll show all of your uh, due invoices. Um, it'll show their status, whether they're uh, current, which is within whatever your, uh, your payment window is, I think it's usually net 30. Um, and then it'll also, it'll show whether it's past due as well. Um, it, you'll see partial payments here. Um, here you, you would choose the invoices that you would like to pay by clicking select there on the left hand side. And then you're also able to adjust the amount you would like to pay on those invoices specifically. And Oh, I don't think I have it here. So um, I'm missing a slide actually. So once you choose the amounts that you would like to pay and you click pay invoices, if you have any open credit memos, uh, the next page would display those credit memos. So it allows you to then choose credit memos that you would like to apply to your payments. 
And just as you can here where you can adjust the pay amount, you can also adjust the um, settlement amount for each of those credit memos. So you could use all or partial of one or more credit memos to apply to your payments. So this is a great new feature that we added recently and um, people have been taking advantage of it and it's just a, a great way to access those credit memos without having to reach out to a sales rep, customer service rep, or our AR department. And then finally, the next page brings you to um, the payment method page. If you have no credit memos or do they, they don't cover the full amount of the payment, then here you would select the payment method you would like to use. Uh, you can use choose credit card or ACH at this time. So the next page would then be a review page where you review your payment details and then you can finalize your payment. So yeah, uh, making a payment online was something that we added at the beginning of this year and it's really taken off. Um, it's just people are saving a lot of time um, and they're able to process payments quickly and get uh, their credit freed up quickly so they can place the orders that they need. Um, next is your payment info page. The payment info page allows you to review your saved credit cards or bank accounts. Here you're also able to add new credit cards or bank accounts. Um, when you do add a new credit card or bank account on AE Express, what happens is it, it opens a, um, a new window that's hosted by the bank. And so uh, we, when you, you enter your credit card information and that credit card information is sent directly to the bank and the bank tokenizes that credit card information and that they return a token to us. So we no longer um, store any of your credit card or bank account information on any of our systems. Um, they are stored now at the bank and this is just a, a higher level of security, a PCI compliance level three security that um, lets you know that you can feel comfortable that your uh, information is safe with us because it's not even hosted with us any longer. Um, your next page here is your financial history page. Uh, this allows you to just as with order history here, you're able to just look back and search against any of your um, transactions that you've made against your credit account. So um, here you're able to search for invoices that are open or paid, credit memos that are open or have been applied, and um, payment receipts. Uh, you would choose your transaction type. You would then um, choose a look back period again of seven to uh, 90 days or a transaction window and um, you can also search by um, invoice number or receipt number or credit memo number if you have it. Here's a quick look at the results showing the transaction number, the date that the transaction was made, the amount originally due, and the current status. The credit memo results page will show you the credit memo number, the date the credit memo was issued, the invoice that it was applied to, and the credit amount and the status. And finally, here is the receipt view, um, which shows you the receipt number, the date, the amount of the receipt, the amount that was applied, and any amount that's outstanding or remaining on uh, that invoice and the method of payment. All right, and the favorites list. Uh, this is a customer favorite, no pun intended. Um, so obviously your favorites list is here for your convenience just so that you can um, easily access the items that you uh, purchase the most often um, on the website. 
So um, it's just a great way to save you time when you're shopping online. So um, as you can see here with the favorites list, uh, if you're on the on a product detail page and you're looking um, to add that item to your cart, just below um, the add to cart button, you'll see a uh, orange button with a little star next to it, add the favorites. So um, if you add it to your favorites list, one thing to note is if your quantity was adjusted, so um, in the case of that REC uh, solar panel, the um, if the quantity was set to to eight on the product detail page, and you added it to your favorites, it would add to your favorites in the quantity of eight. Um, so when you and also when you add it to your cart from your favorites list, uh, it's going to add respective to the quantity that's that's displayed there. You can adjust those quantities right there in your favorites list window. Um, just be sure to, to click update um, underneath the quantity window um, and it will update the quantity. Um, and then this is a view of your custom quotes window. Um, sometimes uh, you might be working with your sales rep on a larger purchase uh, that or maybe uh, may include a complete system with balance of systems or um, some sort of scenario where they're going to create a custom quote for you. Um, and once they create that custom quote, they will let you know that they have uh, added that custom quote to your account space for you to review. So you would go ahead and click on the custom quote uh, number to open to open it so that you can review it and here you can see um, the status the date that that quote was created for you um, usually there's an expiration date on that quote so there's a time frame that you need to either accept or reject the quote um, if you accept the quote the quote will populate in your um, in your cart online um, it's important to note that the cart is not editable once uh, converted from a quote. So uh, the quotes are um, considered a complete quote with a order total for the entire quote amount. And you're not able to add um, items, remove items, or adjust quantities once added to your cart. Um, you must either check out with that quote, or if you are no longer um, preferring to move forward with that quote, you would just save that quote. And so it would clear out of your cart and then you're able to go into your save carts and delete that quote. Uh, the next page we come to would be your returns history. Um, here you're able to search by the date range of your RMA, your um, one, one thing to note with with your returns history is you're not able to um, initiate an RMA online. So really, this is just a great way for you to, to go through and look at the returns that you have processed with your sales rep and to see the status that they're in. Here's a view of, a view of the results. And here you can see that you can see the order number, the purchase order, the return status and the date the order was placed, as well as the detail page of the order. And here's a view of your saved shopping carts page. So saving your shopping carts is another great way to use the website to help you save time with your business. Um, here you, you create a cart when you have a new perspective of customer maybe and you're quoting them a job and uh, oftentimes our customers will then save those carts as with with the um, that customer specific name or uh, quote number and then that cart is able to be pulled up again when the prospect actually signs on the dotted line and becomes an installation for you so um, this is just a you know I've talked to a lot of our customers and they use this the save shopping carts function as a great way for them to 
kind of organize jobs and, and to keep all of the products needed for those jobs uh, organized and ready to go. And finally, the last page is your shipping address page. This allows you to access your address book and uh, delete any unneeded addresses or add any new ones. So that is our, um, that is, I went a little fast today. So that is our, uh, our my walkthrough of AE Express. It's kind of, it's a basic walkthrough really just to show you all of the functionality so that you can get started today um, purchasing online. And um, if you guys have any questions, I'll go ahead and uh, be available to answer anything that you might have. Great. Thanks, Jamie. Uh, like Jamie mentioned, we will kick off our Q&A session now. So if you do have any questions, feel free to send those over through that questions box on the right-hand side of your screen. Um, and we'll, we'll get to those while we have Jamie on the line. And just a reminder um, that the survey will pop up in a new window once you exit the webinar. And if you answer those quick four or five questions, um, we'll send you a copy of these slides. So a, a great resource, a great way to you know, train new employees by handing this over to them and, and letting them um, explore at the site. Well, Jamie, I think you're pretty thorough because I'm not seeing any questions come through. Okay, thank you. Well, yeah, and if if uh, if any questions do come up or if anybody has any um, issues on the site and you need to reach out to me, um, you know, please, I, I make myself available to anyone. Um, so I, I, uh, I'm here for you. All right. Well, thanks again, Jamie, and thanks again, everyone, for joining us this morning. We know your time is valuable, so we'll give you an extra 20 minutes to your day. Um, and don't forget to keep an eye out for further emails with more webinars coming up for the second half of this year. And you can always check out our website at aesolar.com for our training opportunities, um, such as webinars and, and workshops. All right. Thanks again, Jamie. Thank you. All right. Have a good one, everyone.